the wire guns. Hurry up, get all right. Think of these as our express elevators. Take aim. Come on, man. Pl All right, let's not waste time getting through here. Hey, is it my birthday or something? Listen up. Issuing tactical commands is the key to busting out of here. So, you want to go over how it's done? Alright, let's go over it. Alright, time for the first command. I want you to say, fire, now. Hardly advanced tactics, Dan. The word is fire. I want you to say fire now. Got it. In the future, you just gotta say fire and it's done, baby. Okay, fun stuff now. Try yelling charge at the top of your voice. Wow, never have thought of that. On it. In the future, a charge order means you want to get up close and quick. You know, have a bit of concern for your boy. Last tactic you gotta know is regroup. Try it. Got it. We need to regroup when you need your team by your side. Handy when we get split up. Remember that. There are a bunch of other commands too, but you'll learn them as you go along. I see the guests are still arriving. Shame they brought guns instead of gifts. Damn, grenade them! Trying to kill me or what? Shit, there's no end to this. Is our ticket.
All right, give that button a push, brother. That wasn't a very warm welcome. Guess this one's all business and no pleasure. Thanks, bro. But ain't nothing to it for me. Huh? What? Sure. Oh, hey, check this out. An ammo transit supply terminal, huh? Looks like we can spend our credits here. Dan, give this thing a shot. Hey, looks like it works after all. There's probably more of these things around. Keep your eyes peeled. Too damn quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. Shit, I knew it! Hey, what are you trying to do? Watch out for that machine gun fight! Damn, aim for the gas cylinder!
Just a bit more. Gut it out. Dan, leave some for the rest of us, huh? We got the bonus situation to think about. But I don't need you to patronize me. Shit, a dead end? <sighs> Ain't there some way we can get past here? <sighs> what the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? I get it. We can use it as a bridge to the other side. That's it, brother. Keep it up. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. Work. Let's get over to the other side. All right, no sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. We're definitely headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? Feels good to be working together again. Hard to believe we're both still alive after all this time. But I got a hunch we'll get through this one too. You feel me? Whoa, someone pissing your cornflakes? Whatever, I ain't listening. Let's move out.
Yo, watch out! Got a mean looking customer here! Just keep coming! Don't back down! On, brother. They got a lot of eyeballs out there. What do you say? Blitz them? Throw a pair, will you? All right, on my go. Fire! Just have to open this big ass gate. It'll only open if we pull these levers together. All right, let's pull. Company. And it's not looking friendly. It's close, but it's pretty slow. Let's make a stand and keep them suckers out. Ooh, that was close.
gotta be kidding me. Do we got anything at all that'll damage this thing? First things first, take cover! Shit! Yes! In your face! Now's our chance! Get through that door, quick! Not good! The bastard's trying to get back up! Now's our chance! Get through that door, quick! Not good! Guess we bit off more than we could chew! Dead end? You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Just what we needed. Damn! Let's use that big old steel girder to deliver the knockout blow! I'll be the bait, you work the control panel. Hurry! Freaking asshole! Here he comes! Let him have it! The world you do to me. Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Oh, those years. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> <laughs> What? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Why? Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Oh, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them Hollow Children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this Hollow Child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Barry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see... It would appear that Hollow Children actually believe they're human. 
Well, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President, I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. Recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. That's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's new order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? Whoa, what the hell is that? Base to Beetle 2. We've re-established the comm. Do you read? Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast! We've detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large-scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! Point is, stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, now he tells us! Thanks for nothing, Major! <laughs> so much for our covert up. Take them out! Whoa! Talk about a close one! Dan! Watch out for those pegs! Whoa! How far are we gonna slide? I have to tell you I hate for a ride! Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last time I listen to HQ! Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks! Oh, too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! Oh! That don't look good! Jump for it! Hey! Are you alright? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. <laughs> Let's keep moving. 